Just for the record, uh, my name is Calvin Smith. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Business Board Secretary for the Willingboro School of, uh, Board of Education. Um, as a standard uh, by law, I to conduct this meeting until such time the, uh, the new board members are, are sworn in and there's a, uh, there's a president elected. So I'm gonna call the uh, meeting to order in compliance with the Open Public Meeting Act. This is to announce that adequate notice of this meeting has been satisfied. On December 14th, 2020, advanced written notice of this meeting was posted on the bulletin board outside the board secretary's office. On December 14th, 2020, advanced written notice of this meeting was emailed to the Courier Post, 301 Cuthbert Boulevard, Cherry Hill, the Trenton Times, 413 Riverview Plaza, Trenton, New Jersey, and Burlington County Times, 116 Burlington Road, Suite B, West Hampton, New Jersey. On December 14th, 2020, advanced written notice of this meeting was filed with the township clerk. The board of secretary should enter into the minutes of this meeting, uh, this public announcement. We all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and the world, and justice for all. Mr. Teller. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Smith. And actually, I guess when we get to the, when you open the nominations for president, that's when I'll make my comment. I just want to re uh, notify the board uh, of the process pursuant to your policy or bylaw, rather, 0152. Um, so, Mr. Smith, are we at that point now in the meeting? Uh, no, we're not. Okay, let's, when we get to that point, that's when I'll say it. Thank you. When you're ready for the oath, right? You said for the oath, right, Mr. Teller? Uh, yes, you got to swear in new members. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, my uh, first order of business is to uh, read the results of the election. And it'll be read um, based on the uh, in alphabetical order, uh, just the results of the election first. Um, Michael Berg, 11,632 votes. Corvina Francis Denton. 11,551 votes, and Deborah Williams, 12,226 votes. Okay, we're now going to prepare to read the uh, oath of office. Uh, I will ask uh, each individual to read the oath, which you should have with you. And then uh, after each one, I will welcome you in to the Board of Education. So, Mr. Teller, at this juncture, do you want to make your comments? Now, let's, let's swear them in first, Mr. Smith. Let's have them uh, take the oath and be officially sworn in. And then when the nom when you uh, get to the point for the nomination, uh, opening nominations for president, that's when I'll just give the board the, um, just remind them of or, and or inform the new members of what the procedure is for nominating and electing board officers. Okay, great, okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Smith. Yes, go ahead. Where would where would the oath be? Was it sent to us in an email? Because I don't have a copy uh, of Yes, it was sent to you in an email. Okay. But Mr. Smith, do you happen to have the oath uh, with you? Yes, I do. All right, if you could, maybe just one by one, just have them repeat after you, um, and then that way they can be properly sworn in. Particularly because <laughs> one member doesn't have it with them. Uh, we want to just make this uh, as efficient as possible. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll start in, in uh, alphabetical order. So, Mr. Bird, uh, if you will repeat after me. Um, but you have to say whether you swear or affirm. That's your choice to swear or affirm. Okay. Yeah. So, I, Mike Bird, do solemnly swear or affirm. I, Mike Bird, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. 
And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will, I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the government established in the United States. Bear true faith, allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and this, in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I, Mike Burr, do solemnly swear or affirm. I, Mike Bird, do solemnly swear that I will possess that I possess the qualifications prescribed by law. That's the qualifications prescribed by law. For the office of member of the Board of Education. For the office of member of Board of Education. And that I am not disqualified as a voter pursuant to. And that I'm not disqualified as a voter pursuant to. RS 19-4-1. RS 19-4-1. Nor disqualified due to conviction of a crime. Disqualified due to conviction of a crime. Or offense listed in the NJS. Or offense listed in NJS 18.121. And that I will wait faithfully and partially. Faithfully and impartially. And justly perform all the duties of that office and justly perform all the duties of that office according to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god so this is sworn and subscribed before uh, me as the um, board secretary and we will um we will deal with the signature uh, you either you can bring it in or you can mail it to us okay uh, she sent, and, uh, she sent it to me, so I will I'll uh, I'll print them out and sign them and bring them to. You. Okay, great. Okay, all uh, right. Thank you, Mr. Bird, and welcome to the Willowbrook Board of Education. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to uh, bring forward um, Miss Mrs. Corvina Francis Denton. Yes. You repeat after me, and uh, either you solemnly swear or affirm. I, Cor Corvina, is, is that Corvina? Yes, Corvina. Okay. I, Corvina Francis Denton, do solemnly. I, Corvina Francis Denton, do solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the government established. And to the government established. In the United States and this state. In the United States and this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I, Corvina Francis Denton, do solemnly. I, Corvina Francis Denton, do solemnly affirm that I will that I possess the qualifications prescribed by law for the office of member of the Board of Education. That I possess the qualifications prescribed by law for the office of member of the Board of Education. And that I am not disqualified as a voter pursuant to. And that I am not disqualified as a voter pursuant to. RS 19-4-1. RS 19-4-1. Nor disqualified due to conviction of a crime or office listed in. Nor disqualified due to the conviction of a crime or offense listed in. NJS. NJS. 18A. 18A. 12-1. 12-1. And that I will faithfully and partially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And justly perform all the duties. And justly perform all the duties. Of that office. Of that office. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Okay. So it's been notarized. It's warm before me. 
already. And uh, this is Corvina Francis Ditton. I'd like to welcome you to the Wallingboro Board of Education. Thank you. Um, Mrs. Williams, um, who repeat after me, and you have to swear or affirm. I, Deborah Williams, do solemnly swear or affirm. I, Deborah Williams, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States in this state. To the governments established in the United States and in this state. On the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I, Deborah Williams, do solemnly swear or affirm. I, Deborah Williams, do solemnly swear. That I possess the qualifications required by law for the office of member of the Board of Education. That I do possess the qualifications of membership prescribed by law for the office of board member of Board of Education. And that I am not disqualified. And that I am not disqualified. As a voter pursuant to. As a voter pursuant to. RS. RS. 19-4-1. 19-4-1. Nor disqualified due to conviction of a crime. Nor disqualified due to conviction of a crime. Or offense listed. Or offense listed. In NJ.S. In NJ.S. 18A-12-1. 18A-12-1. And that I will faithfully and partially. And that I will faithfully and impartially justly perform all the duties of that office. Justly perform all of the duties of that office. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Uh, this oath has been um, sworn before me and um, as the board secretary. And I'd like to welcome you to the Wollongboro Board of Education. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, my next order of business will be the nomination of the president. Okay, so um, Mr. Smith, and, and with the permission of you as presiding officer at this time and the members of the board, um, I just want to take a moment to uh, read uh, portions of bylaw 0152, uh, which set forth, uh, sets forth the process for uh, the election of officers. Um, each officer in this instance, president and vice president will serve for one year term uh, until the next succeeding a reorganization meeting uh, this time in 2022. Um, the pertinent part of uh, bylaw 0152 uh, states that any member may place a member's name in nomination. A second is not required. Uh, election for each officer will be conducted by a vote when the nominations for that office are closed. The candidate receiving a majority vote of the members of the board present in voting and constituting a quorum will be elected to office. Voting shall take place by verbal roll call vote after nominations are closed. When more than one person has been nominated, the board will vote on candidates in the order in which they were nominated. In the event that no candidate receives a majority vote of the members of the boards present and constituting a quorum, the procedure shall continue until someone receives a majority vote. Um, so again, in instance, in, in essence, uh, whoever, uh, anybody can be nominated and anybody can nominate anyone for president. Um, a second is not required. Essentially, you need a majority of the full membership, five votes. Um, if there are more than one uh, name uh, placed in nomination, essentially you will vote in the order of the nomination. So if, if candidate number one, uh, there's a roll call vote, if, if he or she receives five votes, then there will be no vote for the second person in that instance. Um, then the same process will be followed for the office of vice president. Um, however, that will be led by whoever the new president is. Um, with that, Mr. Smith, you can proceed with opening the nominations. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Teller. Uh, the floor is now open for nomination uh, for board president. I would like to nominate Mr. Worthy.
I would like to nominate Deborah Williams. Are there any other nominations for the uh, for the president? May I have a motion to call the nomination? So move. Second. Have you want to poll the board? Mr. Bird? Yes. Worthy. Oh no, I thought we were it was I thought we were voting on one. This is just a close. This is a close uh, nomination. Is a close nomination. I'm sorry. This is the close nomination. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bird. Thank you, Miss Francis Ditton. Yes. Miss Gibson Parker. Yes. Miss Harkley. Yes. Miss Henley. Yes. yes. Miss Maxwell Cisse. Yes. Ms. Jenner? Yes. Ms. Williams? I'm sorry, I was muted, yes. Mr. Worthy? Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Okay. So the board member should now state the name of the person for whom he or she is voting. Actually, Mr. Smith, just so we can strictly comply with the uh, bylaw, uh, I would recommend that we do the first roll call for Mr. Worthy. Okay, that's fine. Um, so board okay. members can vote yes if they're in favor or no if they're not in favor or abstain. Um, and then, again, if Mr. Worthy gets five votes, he's the president. If not, we move on to the next candidate who was nominated pursuant to bylaw 0152. Um, next candidate okay. being Mrs. Uh, Williams. Okay, so this vote is for Mr. Worthy. Mr. Bird? Yes. Ms. Francis Denton? Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker? Yes. Ms. Harkley? No. Ms. Henry? No. no, 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 no. Ms. Maxwell Cisse? No. Ms. Spinner? No. Ms. Williams? No. Mr. Worthy? Yes. Nine voting. I have five no, four yes. Okay. Um, so that motion was not successful. Mr. Uh, Smith, uh, you now want to call uh, for a motion or, or do the roll call rather for uh, Ms. Deborah Williams for the Office of President of the Board of Education. Okay. Uh, call for a vote for um, Mrs. Williams for uh, President of the Board of Education. Mr. Bird? No. Ms. Francis Denton? No. Ms. Gibson Parker? Sorry, no. Ms. Harkley? Yes. Ms. Henley? Yes. 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 Ms. Maxwell Cisse? Yes. Ms. Spinner? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Worthy? No. Nine voting, five yes, four no. Okay. All right. So um, it's like uh, Ms. Swams has and now the new board president. She has the five votes. And uh, I'm going to uh, ceremoniously turn the gavel over to the new board president. This is what, this Thank one. you. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, we will open up the floor for nominations for the board vice president. I would like to nominate April Maxwell Henley.
Are there any additional nominations? Okay, is there a motion to close the nomination process? So moved. I move that we close the nomination process. Second. So that was moved by Ms. Maxwell Cisse. Is there a second to close the nomination process? Second. Ms. Holland, would you please pull the board for Ms. Ma for Ms. Uh, Maxwell Henley? Is it to close the nominations or to take the vote? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you're right. It is to close the nomination. The role, the role okay. to close the nomination. And then okay. The Mr. Bird? Yes. Mr. Stanton? Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker? Yes. Ms. Harkley? Yes. Ms. Henley? Yes. Ms. Maxwell Cisse? Yes. Ms. Spinner? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Worthy? Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Okay, and so the next vote would be to, um, you would call the roll for the vote for Ms. Henry for the Office of Vice President? Yes. Mr. Bird? Yes. Ms. Francis Denton? Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker? Yes. Ms. Harkley? Yes. Mrs. Henley? Yes. Ms. Maxwell Cisse? Yes. Ms. Spinner? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Worthy? No. I have eight yes, one no. Okay, uh, well, before we proceed with the, the meeting, I would just like to um, personally thank you, the board members who voted for me, um, who put your confidence in me um, for the Office of President for this uh, school year. And I will work hard to not let you down as we continue to work together to move forward and do what's best for the students of Willingboro um, Township School and our community. So thank you. Mrs. Henley, did you have any comments that you wanted to make? I'm always having <laughs> technical difficulties, but if you can hear me, I want to thank everyone who um, uh, voted for me. And um, as Deb has already stated, I won't let you down. And I'll make sure that we're being very open, honest, and transparent and just keeping it real, as I've always said. So thank you again. I appreciate you all. Okay. Oftentimes it may appear to members of our audience that the Board of Education takes action with very little comment and in many cases a unanimous vote. Before a matter is placed on the agenda at a public meeting, the administration has thoroughly reviewed the matter with the superintendent of schools. And now we'll have um, comments from our superintendent, Dr. Hackett. Okay. Thank you very much. And happy new year to the Willenboro Public Schools family and the Willenboro community. Congratulations to our board president, Deborah Williams, and our vice president, uh, Ms. Maxwell Henley. Congratulations to our new board members, Mr. Mike Bird and Ms. Corvina Francis Denton. I look forward to working with each of you to continue our forward progress of creating an environment that educates the whole child, socially, emotionally, and intellectually. Before I begin my report this evening, 
I would like to take this opportunity to pay respect to the life and legacy of a beloved Willingboro family member who passed away on December 15, 2020. I did not have the pleasure of meeting Miss Amelia Brown, but I have learned of her love, her devotion, her empathy, her respect, and her faith from the many stories that I have been told. Her family is with us this evening, her daughter, Carletta Timmons, and her son, the Reverend Carl Brown Jr., and her son, Mr. Carlin Brown. We also have both of her daughter-in-laws here this evening, Ms. Jasmine Brown and Ms. Sandra Brown. I would like to read a resolution that will be presented this evening for the board members and then given to the family after the official vote has taken place. After I read the resolution, I'll ask everyone to join me for a moment of silence as we reflect on the life of Mrs. Amelia Brown. Resolution honoring the memory of Miss Amelia Brown. Whereas Miss Amelia Brown, who unselfishly dedicated many years of service to the Willingboro Public School District with great distinction and success, passed away on December 15, 2020. And whereas Miss Amelia Brown enriched the Willingboro Public School District with her tireless service for 28 years. She served 14 of those years as a teacher aide and 14 as substitute support at the Country Club Administration Building. Whereas Miss Amelia Brown was held in the highest regards by the Willingboro Public School District employees as well as community members. Now therefore be it resolved that the Willingboro Public School District hereby honors the memory of Miss Amelia Brown for outstanding service to the students, staff, and parents. And be it further resolved that this resolution be spread upon the minutes of the Willingboro Board of Education as a permanent record of the achievements of and respect for Miss Amelia Brown. And that the original be presented to the family of Miss Amelia Brown with sincere sympathy and appreciation. Please join me at this time for a moment of silence as we honor the life and legacy of Miss Amelia Brown. Thank you very much. Her son, Mr. Carlin Brown, will be the first person to speak when we move to public comment. So we look forward to hearing from Mr. Carlin Brown. I want to thank the entire Brown family for sharing Miss Amelia Brown with the Willingboro Public Schools. We are certainly blessed to have known her. As the proud superintendent of schools, I'm excited about the endless possibilities for success that await the Willingboro Public Schools in 2021. As a district, we will continue our life-changing work of creating an environment that produces proactive and productive citizens, an environment that provides our students with the knowledge and confidence to sit at any table of their choosing, an environment where our students know that they matter, that they are valued, that they are appreciated, and that anything is possible. I'm looking forward to working with the entire Willingboro community as we continue in 2020-21 to prepare our students to be change agents in our ever-changing global society. A few announcements this evening. During the month of January 2021, the district will host three parent and guardian workshops. All workshops begin at 6 p.m. and parents and guardians are sent the appropriate links. The first workshop, Fun and Safe Activities for Families will be held tomorrow, January 5th. The second workshop, How to Challenge My Child Academically, will be held on January the 12th. And the third workshop, Overview of the Intervention and Referral Services, INRS, and Gifted and Talented Programs, will be held on January the 19th. As a reminder to all of our parents and guardians, we have two to three workshops each month, and we encourage you to participate. In our ongoing efforts to improve communication between the home and school, I am very proud to announce that we have added seven new languages to our web website. Arabic, French, Haitian Creole, Portuguese, Spanish, Swahili, and Urdu. All future email announcements to parents and guardians will be translated to the home language indicated by the parent and guardian in Genesis. 
To further enhance our communication with parents and guardians, each of our principals will post a video of their respective schools on their website. The video will be a tour of the building. All videos will be posted by January 11. These videos will give students who have not yet seen their new school an opportunity to view all the various parts of the building. So please look out for those videos which will be posted by January the 11th. As our district strives to provide for the whole child socially, emotionally, and intellectually, our climate and culture team is hosting a district-wide drive titled Keeping Will and Girl Students Warm. This drive will provide coats, hats, scarves, gloves, and socks to our family. We are asking staff members and the community to consider aiding in this endeavor by purchasing items on our Amazon wish list. Purchase items will be given five to seven families in each of our schools and additional families via our local community agencies. A flyer has been posted on our website with a link to the Amazon wish list. Items can be purchased and a selection can be made to have them delivered to the Country Club District Office in care of Ms. Siobhan Carter, our supervisor of guidance. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our food service vendor, Whitson's Culinary Group, for donating 3,000 boxes of food, which is distributed to the Willenboro community on December 23rd, 28th, and 30th. I had the pleasure of participating in this distribution along with Ms. Tribbett and Mr. Worthy, and it was truly a blessed experience. Thank you to the Whitson supervisor, Ms. Tanner, and the entire Whitson's organization. I would like to provide an update on remote instruction. Thus far this school year, we purchased Chromebooks to allow our students to have a device at home and at school. We've established synchronous learning support teams at each of our schools that support teachers with the infusion of technology into instruction. We purchased additional technology, licenses, and platform to enhance virtual instruction. We redesigned the district's website to reflect relevant information, virtual videos, and guidelines about virtual instruction and safety protocols. We provided staff members with summer professional development and thus far six full days of professional development during the school year that focused on virtual learning instructional protocols and curriculum pacing. We provided parent workshops to help support curriculum implementation, virtual learning, and the use of technology. We've created a technology help desk for parents, guardians, and students. We've introduced a uniform grading profile to ensure that all of our students are assessed equitably across the district. We've conducted the first of three progress monitoring assessments using the IXL diagnostic platform. And we've increased instructional time during option two for English language arts in our elementary schools. Currently, we are working on introducing a uniform lesson plan template to assist staff members and differentiated instruction to meet the needs of all students. We're working on maximizing student engagement by providing additional small group instructional strategies within the virtual learning instructional model. And we will be providing all of our K-8 students with books for their in-home library to increase student literacy. We are continuing our targeted preparations for the start of option one, which is our hybrid model. Option one is scheduled to begin on Monday, February 8th. Over the next few weeks, we will continue to monitor data to determine if February 8th is still a viable return date. Any change to this date will be provided to parents and guardians as soon as possible. Instructional staff members are scheduled to return to their respective school buildings on Monday, January 11th. Any change to this date will be provided to staff members within the next two days. I want to thank our parents and guardians for their collaborative support as we continue to engage in virtual instruction. A letter was sent to parents and guardians this morning to express my gratitude for their collaboration and to provide a few reminders to optimize virtual instruction for their children. In closing, as we celebrate the birthday of a king and his dream this month, let's be reminded of a quote by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., which reads, the purpose of education is to educate each one of us to think critically and to think intensively. Character plus intelligence, that's the objective of a true education. In the Willenboro Public Schools, everyone will endeavor to educate the whole child. 
socially, emotionally, and intellectually. Everyone will model a strong character each and every day. This is our charge and we will rise to the occasion because our children are counting on us to be the very best that we can be each and every day. Thank you and board president, that ends my comments. Thank you, Dr. Hackett. Public comment, not to exceed 50 minutes, not to exceed four minutes speaking time per person. If you are on the phone, you would need to use star six to unmute yourself. And once you've finished making your comments, press star six once again to mute yourself. Public comment is open. And, and I apologize for present. I just would like to invite Mr. Carlin Brown as our first speaker to represent the Brown family. Okay, so Mr. Brown will be our first speaker for public comment. Good evening. Hello, my name is Carlin Brown. Thank you. I, I um, prepared something for this evening. Um, thank you to the Willingboro Board of Education for thinking so highly of my mother, Amelia Brown. Enough to honor her on tonight's meeting. My mother took great pride in her various positions that she has held across the district and loved each and every moment. Being a past employee of the Willingboro School District myself, I got to witness my mother firsthand, firsthand in action and how well she handled business and with great poise and grace. During the many conversations I have had with teachers, administrators, and different staff, all I ever heard was how well liked and loved my mother was. I was forever, I will forever be grateful for the impact that my mother had in many people's lives from Willingboro. So on behalf of my family, Carletta, Carl Jr., Sandra, Jasmine, my wife, and the grandchildren, and the great-grandchildren, again, thank you to the Willingboro School District for the amount of support and love shown during this difficult time of bereavement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Additional public comment. Are there any additional public comments? If you are on the phone, remember you must star, hit star six to unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Hi, um, this is Tanya Brown, 94 Glenview Lane. <laughs> um, congratulations to the board president and vice president on your nominations tonight. I look forward to the work that you're going to do with the school district. And I would also like to um, thank um, Dr. Hackett publicly um, for her partnership with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, for her, um, the district's participation in the Hero Squad. It was formerly known as Pennies for Patients. Um, the theme is that every hero needs a squad. So the cancer patients are the heroes, and the squad is the school district who works um, to do various fundraisers. And we all know that fundraisers support research, and research saves lives. So I would just like to thank her on that participation. And um, I look forward to you guys. Um, and all that you're going to do this upcoming year for our school district. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Additional public comment? Good evening. How are you? This is Kia um, Callier, WA President, um, 39 Night and Lane, Mount Laurel, New Jersey. So I just want to say congratulations to all the new board members. Um, it's very, it's a very exciting time for you, um, and I wish you much success along with the current board members. Um, also, want to say congratulations to um, Ms. Williams and uh, Ms. Maxwell Henley for being president and vice president. I know you're going to do a good job working together. 
Um, I wanted to say um, blessings to um, the family um, that was here and just um, to the Brown family. I was really thinking about your mom over the holidays. Um, she was a bright star and a sparkling face for all of us. So I just wanna say blessings to the family. And um, I wanna say good luck to the, to the board members, Ms. Tanya Brown that was a former board member and the other board members who left and thank you for your service as well. Um, and blessings to everyone for a happy 2021. Thank you, Ms. Collier. Additional public comment. If you are on the phone and you'd like to make a comment, you must press star six to unmute yourself. Uh, Ms. President, this is Tori from Technology. Um, I, I am seeing a hand raised in the video section. I know I don't think we've gotten to there yet. If you want to do, finish the phones first, that's fine. Um, there is a hand raised in the video section. That's all. Okay. How come my, how come we can't see that? On the right hand side of your screen, if you click on the little uh, icon that shows the two people, it has 81 next to it. That'll bring up all the people in the meeting and you'll see one where it says um, hands, uh, raise hand. It's on uh, Ms. Spalding. Okay, Ms. Spalding, you have the floor. She took her hand down. Ms. Spalding, if you wanted to make a comment, you need to unmute yourself. Okay. Maybe she was having technical difficulties. It looks like Ms. Spalding left the meeting. Uh, we can give her a moment to see if she'll rejoin. In, in the meantime, is there anyone else who had a public comment? Well, uh, I guess seeing none and hearing none, public comment is closed. And we will move on to the superintendent's response. Okay. I just want to, um, again, thank Ms. Collier for always um, bringing greetings and her collaborative spirit. And so that would be the end of my response. Thank you. We move on to board member comments. Any board members have comments? Uh, I would. Um, okay. First of all, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. Hope everybody stays safe and healthy, you know, through the craziness and the pandemic. Um, welcome to Professor Denton and uh, Mr. Bird. Congratulations to Ms. Williams and Mrs. Maxwell Henley. Um, just looking forward to another year. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Gibson Parker. Additional board member comments? Uh, Mr. Worthy has a comment. Yes. So I want to say as well, well uh, Happy New Year to everybody that's joining us. Uh, welcome to Ms. Francis Denson. Welcome to Mr. Bird. And congratulations to Ms. Williams and Ms. Mrs. Maxwell Henley on the appointment and service as president and vice president. And I'm excited about the opportunities that are before us to be able to continue to impact the lives of our children. So thank you everybody. I hope everybody has a blessed year. I hope it got to a great start and it continues to be beneficial for you and your families. Professor Denton has her hand up. Cause I don't know if you can see the screen, Ms. Uh, Ms. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Worthy. Uh, Ms. Denton. 
Uh, I would just like to say congratulations to you, Ms. Williams and Ms. Maxwell Henley. Uh, uh, congrats, Mr. Bird. Um, we're in this together as the new ones. We're looking forward to serving Will and Borrow, the students of Will and Borrow, to the best of our ability. And it is indeed an honor to have been selected to serve. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Daisy Maxwell Cisse. Um, welcome to 2021. Just want to say um, congratulations to Mrs. Frances Denton and to Mr. Bird, and congratulations, Ms. Williams, for another term with us. Um, I can't wait to work with everyone um, to make this uh, an even better year for all of us and for us for our kids. Um, I just want to say hi to Gary. And good to hear um, Ms. Brown um, on the other side. And um, thank you. Uh, congratulations, Deborah. Congratulations, April. Um, I'm just looking forward to a good year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Maxwell Cisse. Mr. Bird, did you have a comment? You're muted, Mr. Bird. You're muted. I'm not. Wow. Um, happy New Year, everyone. Um, first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank my family and my friends, and most importantly, the residents of Willingboro that put their trust in me with their vote. Um, Dr. Hackett, <clears throat> all my colleagues now on the school board, I want to thank you for this opportunity to work with you collectively to create great schools in Willingboro privilege to be on the school board of the town that I grew up in. Uh, 30 years ago, as a member of the class of 1991, I could have never imagined being here tonight in this position. I will give my all to this board, the students, the parents, teachers, the administrators, <clears throat> with all being that Willingboro Township schools are as successful as possible. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Additional board member comments? I have a comment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would like to say congratulations to Mr. Bird and Ms. Francis Denton. Welcome. I look forward to working with you this year. And also, I want to extend my congratulations to our new president and vice president. Thank you, Ms. Spinner. Any additional board member comments? Uh, I had something real quick um, for Dr. Hackett. Um, uh, people who, um, who are getting the emails in the different languages, if, the, if it's the wrong language, how can they reach back out and say, change it to English or change it to Creole? How do we go about doing that? Okay, great question. So in Genesis, parents can mark what their home language is. And so one of those seven plus, of course, English, they would mark their home language. And once that's marked in Genesis, anything that goes out will be in that home language. So the parent would just simply need to just change the home language in Genesis. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, were there any additional board member comments? <laughs> uh yes can you hear me yes oh good one computer work i have about four going um anyway <laughs> i would like to say um congratulations to miss corvina denton on becoming a newest school board member as well as mike bird i know it hasn't been an easy road for you but guess what you did it you didn't quit and here you are and i look forward to working with you and um, I don't have much advice to give you, but to vote your conscience, and that's basically it. To Ms. Williams, congratulations on your appointment as the um, new school board president. I look forward to working closely uh, with you and also Dr. Hackett um, and learn different things. Um, I also want to um, 
just thank Mr. Worthy. Um, his work is not in vain. He has done a lot. He's done a lot. I can't go through the list. He's done a lot. He's flipped some policies. He brought in some new policies. So thank you as well, your leadership and, and things of that nature. It pushed me to go this far to do the next step. So I appreciate you too. And um, that's basically all the comments that I have. I've already said thank you all for uh, voting for me and entrusting this position into me. I don't take it lightly. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Maxwell Henley. Um, any other board member comments? Okay. Well, I would just like to publicly um, thank um, you all for, again for voting for me. And um, I would like to um, uh, congratulate Ms. Maxwell Henley on her appointment. Um, and I definitely look forward to working with you and with um, all of, all eight board members. Um, we're a team and we all have the same goal in mind. We're all here because we care about willing girls, um, children, and a good number of us are alumni. So class of 87. Um, I also would like to um, welcome Ms. Corvina uh, Francis Denton, and Mr. Mike Bird, welcome to the board. We look forward to working with you um, and making um, Willingboro the best that it can be. And so, welcome. Okay, so I guess we can move on with our agenda for this evening. Um, next on our agenda is the uh, is there a motion for the approval of the re resolution honoring Miss Amelia Brown? Um, so moved. Second. I'm sorry, was that motion by Miss Spinner? Yes. And second by? Second. Mr. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Any discussion? I would just like to say that um, I did have the privilege um, to encounter Ms. Bird on numerous occasions when I was at the Country Club building. Um, and just as anyone could attest to who has ever come across her path, um, she was a shining light in that building. As soon as you walked into the building, she always had a warm smile and a welcome for everyone. Um, she was very kind hearted and she will be greatly missed. Ms. Holland, would you please pull the board? Okay, Mr. Bird. I think you were. Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker. Yes. Ms. Harkley. Yes. Ms. Francis Denton? Yes. Ms. Maxwell Cisse? Yes. Ms. Spinner? Absolutely, yes. Mr. Worthy? Yes. Ms. Henley? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Motion passes. So board president, I'd like to present to you um, 7.1 through 7.25. However, I am pulling for the consent vote on um, behalf of one of the board members request. I'm pulling 7.3, 7.19, and 7.23 from the consent vote for those items to be discussed and voted on separately. Okay, so is there um, a motion for items 7.1 through 7.25, excluding 7.3, 7.19, and 7.23. So moved. Moved by Mr. Worthy. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Maxwell Cisse. Danielle. I'm sorry. Second by Ms. Spinner. <laughs> um, any discussion? I just have I just a quick, 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 quick. Sorry. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay. Can you hear me? I have a quick question on 
I know that the bid threshold was 40,000 and now it's increased. Was that state mandated for that increase or is that something we just did? Um, yeah, yes, that is the new number for the state. Okay, all right, thank you. You're very welcome. Any further discussion? Ms. Holland, please pull the board. Mr. Bird. Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker. Yes. Ms. Harkley. Yes. Ms. Francis Denton. Yes. Ms. Maxwell Cisse. Yes. Ms. Spinner. Yes. Mr. Worthy. Ms. Yes. Henley. Oops, sorry, can you hear me? I hear you now, yes. I'm sorry, um, yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Motion passes. Um, board president, did we want to do the 7.3 first? Were we going to discuss these items in um, executive session or were we voting on them separately? Um, we I, them? Whatever you prefer. Um, I told them so they wouldn't be part of consent vote, but if we want to ask questions or um, vote on, in, in closed session, that would be your decision. Okay. Um, I, I'm not sure why these items were pulled. So if if they were pulled because we wanted to have further discussion of them or if we are just voting on them separately. That's why I'm confused. So one of the board members asked for them to be pulled because she indicated she had questions. Okay. So, so if, I, if I may, Mrs. Williams, uh, Ms. Williams, are the questions from a, a, a legal uh, standpoint that would be covered by the attorney client privilege or uh, student privacy or personnel? If so, we can go into closed session. Uh, if not, uh, we can um, entertain the questions once each item is properly moved and seconded. We can hear them during discussion. Um, I always say I can't read mine, so I don't know what the questions are. So it, 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 we might need to go, uh, let's go one by one. I would recommend we do a motion to approve, I guess, 7.2. If the question is a privilege question, we'll hold it and go into closed session. If it's not, we can answer it on the floor. Okay. So motion to approve 7.3. So move. Moved by Mr. Worthy. Second. And was that Ms. Maxwell Cisse? Ms. Denton. Denton. Oh, Ms. Denton, I'm sorry. Second by Mrs. Denton. Any discussion? Yes, um, I was the one that had this pulled. I don't know if you can mention my name, but I don't mind it at all. Um, I asked for this particular item to be pulled for approval of textbooks. So does the school use textbooks or are we 100% digital, electronic? What is this textbook and, and how much money are we spending on it? That's my question. Okay. Um, so this is an annual procedural resolution that whatever textbooks are in the district, they're being approved. Um, I have to be very honest. With you, um, Vice President Maxwell Henley, um, unpeeling the layers of what's currently in the district as far as textbooks and curriculum materials. We are that is a work in progress under the direction of Ms. Trivet and her team. Um, we now have a supervisor who handles every subject, so we're really digging deep to see what materials are in the district, what's viable to continue using, what we should discontinue, what we need to even look at for um, additional purchases. So it is a, um, a work in progress. But right now, whatever textbooks that are on the records that we are using, those are just approved annually. Um, by resolution, if we were if we were to purchase new textbooks or discard any textbooks, those resolutions will be brought to the um, board members between now and the end of the year. And we are hoping to have a uh, solidify our list by the spring to move into the 21-22 school year. Uh, we, we are continuing just to go through what we currently have in district and what we're using, what we're not using. If I may, Ms. Ms. Williams, um, and it's just to supplement what Dr. Hackett said in response to Ms. Maxwell Henley's question. Um, 
the textbooks, approval of textbooks, and just about every other item on your reorganization agenda are standard and customary items uh, for review and approval of the Board of Education. Um, it has been a bit disjointed since the legislature changed the elections of school districts from April to November, uh, because typically these resolutions would be voted on in, at, in May, at your reorganization meeting in May, for the next succeeding school year, because your school year runs on a fiscal calendar July through June, not January through December, so to speak. So um, that being said, the um, approval of textbooks is a routine issue. Nothing stops the board working in conjunction with your administration from changing textbooks. Um, that typically is aligned with your curriculum that you have. Um, curriculum is something the board has committees to review. Um, if you adopt different curriculum and or different courses are implemented, um, you can obviously uh, uh, buy and approve the usage of different uh, textbooks to supplement uh, existing curriculum or go along with uh, any different curriculum. Um, so again, it's not really in stone, your approval this evening. Thank you. And this approval has nothing to do with the purchase of new textbooks. It's just, we are reapproving textbooks that we currently have in our buildings. Yeah, you're just such a ratifying what you already have, yep. Okay. That definitely answers my question. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't an additional expense that wasn't mentioned on the agenda. That's all the question was. So that's good. Thank you, Dr. Hackett and um, Mr. Taylor. You're welcome. So if there is no further discussion of 7.3, um, Ms. Nolan, you can pull the board for 7.3. Ms. Holland. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Yes, yes you replied yes. I don't know if you can hear okay. it. Okay. Ms. Gibson Parker. Yes. Ms. Harkley. Yes. Ms. Francis Denton? Yes. Ms. Maxwell Cisay? Yes. Ms. Spinner? Yes. Mr. Worthy? Yes. Mrs. Henley? Yes. Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Nine voting, nine any affirmative? Motion passes. Is there a motion to approve item 7.19? So moved. It's moved by Ms. Gibson Parker. Okay. Second by Mr. Worthy. Any discussion of item 7.19? So 7.19, um, I think it might have already been answered. Uh, I didn't know who the person was. So, um, I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm good because I don't want it going any further than that. Okay. Yes, and uh, myself as well. That was another one that I had pulled and I think I'm okay with it as well. Okay. No further discussion of 7.19. Ms. Holland, please pull the board. Mr. Bird. Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker. Yes. Ms. Harkley. Yes. Ms. Francis Denton. Yes. Ms. Maxwell Cisse. Yes. Ms. Spinner. Yes. Mr. Worthy. Yes. Mrs. Henley. Yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Motion passes. Is there a motion to approve item 7.23? So moved. Ms. Denton, moved by Mrs. Denton. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Worthy. Any discussion? 
for 7.23. Yes, this is another item that I asked to be pulled. I just wanted to know what is a uniform minimum chart of accounts. Like if I can just get a brief synopsis of what it is before I vote yes or no on it. Certainly. So the uniform, um, there is a chart of accounts that are used by all school districts across the state. Um, the state of New Jersey Department of Education provides those accounts. And they're basically account numbers. And everyone has to use the same account numbers for things like supplies or, um, and Ms. Smith, you can help me out. I know it's supplies, but they're, they're, everyone has to use those same account numbers um, to, to solidify that's in the supply or that's a service. Um, Ms. Smith, is there anything else you want to add to that? No, it's just that uh, every accounting system has a system of recording your accounting information and they use it by what's called chart of accounts. So there's a chart of account for every trans every business transaction that happens in any business. And so the minimum chart of account is basically saying these are the accounts that you can only use for, for school district. So like all your assets have account numbers, all your liabilities, revenue, expenses, they all have account numbers. And, they, and so they are referred to as chart of accounts. That's it. So um, I guess what caught my eye was that it says on file in the business office. So I'm going to assume that this um, chart of accounts is so thick that we couldn't get a copy of it in our agenda today. Uh, it's thick. I could certainly send it to you in your Friday folder. It could have been put into the agenda today, but it is very thick. Yeah. But if you want, I can send it in your uh, Friday packet. Please and thank you. You're welcome. If there's no further discussion, um, Ms. Collin, would you pull the board for seven item 7.23? Yes. Mr. Bird? Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker? Yes. Ms. Hartley? Yes. Ms. Frances Denton? Yes. Ms. Maxwell C. Say? Yes. Ms. Spinner? Yes. Mr. Worthy? Yes. Ms. Henley? Yes. And Ms. Williams? Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Motion passes. Resolution to go into closed executive session. Whereas the Board of Education is now assembled at a public meeting, and whereas the if, I, if I can save you a couple of breaths, if you don't mind, um, Dr. Hackett or you, do you, does anybody have any items for a closed session this evening? If not, there's no reason to read their resolution. I, I did have one matter of discussion. Okay, I'm sorry, Ms. Williams. Sorry to cut you off, ma'am. I'm <laughs> sorry. All right, um, the Board of Education now determines to go into closed executive session for the purpose of discussing uh, the following. Now, therefore, be it resolved that pursuant to the terms and conditions of the Open Public Meeting Act, NJSA 10-4-1, the Board of Education exclude the public and enter into closed executive session. Um, it is estimated that these closed discussions might be disposable to the public at the expiration of two years from the date of the closed session, if not then legally privileged at the conclusion of this closed executive session, it is anticipated that the board would reconvene in public session. Um, is there a motion to go into public and to go into executive session? So move. Second. Moved by Mr. Denton and second by Mr. Bird. Ms. Williams, if I could just ask Dr. Hackett, just one uh, for record, Dr. Hackett, is this a personnel matter we're discussing in closed session? or some other legal matter? Uh, no, it's not. Is it just a, can you just state just for the subject matter for the minute so that the the, re, the uh, resolution can be complete? Um, the re reopening plan. Okay, so matters covered by attorney-client privilege, uh, by protection of uh, physical and or uh, human uh, safety and other matters otherwise exempt from uh, disclosure to the public at this time under the Open Public Meetings Act. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Holland, please hold the board. Mr. Bird? Yes. Ms. Gibson Parker? Yes. Ms. Markley? Yes. Ms. Frances Denton? Yes. Ms. Maxwell C. Say? Yes. Ms. Center? 
Yes. Mr. Williams? I'm sorry, Mr. Worthy? Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Henley? Yes. And Ms. Williams? Yes. Nine voting, nine in the affirmative. Okay. Uh, we are now in the Board of Mayor to Executive Session. So we have to log out and come back in, right?